and to a certain extent, yeah, like you can't, if you want to know more about like trans rights, you can't walk up to everybody who identifies as trans and be like, hey, tell me your experience. Like, no, they don't owe that. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. We are going to have a really special guest today on our live. We are going to have Jordan. She's going to be joining shortly from all the days. And on Instagram, you can find her at love all the days. So make sure that you see the distinction there. But Jordan is doing this amazing thing next week. And I am so honored that I get to be a part of it on the 17th, but it's on the 16th and 17th and it's called ally to advocate summit. And I think one of the most important things when it comes to really changing yourself personally, but also your business is making sure that you take all the necessary steps to get started. You're learning all these things. Hey there, Love Clark events and Steno 69. Um, but that you're, you're actually learning these things and then you're taking it to that next level, right? And then from that level, you don't just stop. You actually take it to the next level. And that's what Ally to Advocate really is about because a lot of people have, you know, started, hey, Love Clark events, um, have kind of started their ally journey, if you will, and they put their black box on Instagram, which is nice, it's better than nothing, but at the end of the day, we wanna make sure that it doesn't just stay a black box. And so here, look at my girl, Jordan. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. You're always so cute. I love, I love like seeing like your face on like the lives and things because it's the cutest. I'm like, I'm always doing, I'm always doing that. I'm always like, like mid laugh. So every time I try to like pick one for yeah, the yeah. cover, I'm always like, eh, like I'm doing too much. Yeah, that's um, all the time. So that's what, anyway, we are twins that way. Like we get a lot, like our faces are, you can't, you can't not laugh and right they're just they're just they're just joyous you know and there's nothing wrong with that um how are you I'm good. it's so good like i said it's so good to see you i can't wait so for people who are like okay i like to advocate what is it all about so tell them first i think you know kind of start out tell people how he even came up with this idea which i think is fantastic so uh it all started <laughs> Um, back in June, after the the murder of George Floyd, and there were so many like protests and and marches and um, a lot of different advocacy th happening in like in the makeup world, happening in so many different industries. And I made this pledge for big wedding media to essentially say like, "Hey, we stand for Black Lives, Black Love, Black Vendors. You're going to see more inclusivity from us." Um, and so from there, I got to have some really interesting conversations with some of these brands, but also with a lot of small business owners and, you know, trailblazers like yourself. And it just got me to thinking like, okay, there are a lot more of us out there than I thought that there were. Why don't we all just like come together and really help each other learn and grow and practically apply some of that knowledge to our businesses? And so that's kind of where Ally to Advocate came from. You know, you hear the word ally thrown around a lot. And the reason the name is what it is, is because I want people to take that next step. Like it's easy to, you know, throw up a black box on your IG page. Yeah. It's really easy to say like, hey, I care about this when there's no real, there's no teeth to it, you know? And so I wanted to give people an opportunity to say like, yeah, I care about inclusion and, and all the different intersections of that. How do I, one, not get overwhelmed by those concepts? They can seem so academic sometimes. Um, people start saying like, cishet, heteronormative, da, 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 and people's brains just shut off. They're like, well, I didn't know I had to take a reading course for this. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to be able to give people like that on a platter, like let's get the, the basics and maybe a new tack to it if it's, if it's not a new conversation to you, but then also take it that step further and say, great, let's talk about anti-racism, but then let's talk about how to add that into your branding. Let's talk about how to add that into your operations and your community building. Um, and just having 
being open enough to just like have those types of conversations. So it all kind of started in June, but it kind of grew from there. I love that. And I think it is like, it is so important for people to understand that, yes, baby steps, first steps, minimal steps are important, but that it doesn't end there. And we get it. Life, yeah. like life goes on, it gets busy. There's remote learning for kids. There's all of these like virtual learning, like a pandemic, pandemic you know, like, <laughs> little, something little something. Little. <laughs> but it's like, you, you have all these things going on, not to mention like, you know, if you have like family members who are in a high risk situation or, you know, there's, there's things obviously with the wedding industry, because of yeah. the pandemic, just, you know, so there's so many things that are really weighing on people and we get it. But at the end yeah. of the day, things that are important to you, you have to find ways to make that both, you know, kind of, you know, consumption, but also the digestion of it easier mm -hmm. for you. It's like, you know, if your stomach's upset, you take a probiotic. You don't just like, you know what I mean? Like you got, you got to figure out, like you're that. not waiting like you're going to like close out your two days and like wait for your stomach to get better. No, you like yeah. medicine or you, you know, there's things that you do to kind of, yeah. again, help that process. And, and I think that's a really important thing that no one's saying like, Hey, you should have all the answers or you, mm -hmm. you need to go research it all yourself. Guess what? There's tons of people and resources who have built yes. this literally for you to be able to just be like, sign up, you sign up for a website or um, a, a newsletter on a website, or you, you sign up for yeah. a summit, an online summit, and you get to hear from people who are really, you know, th this is what they're, they're about. And I think that those yeah. firsthand experiences, listening and learning from that, you can't get that anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? And I, I love that yeah, the summit. It's so important. And I mean, honestly, it's one of the things that like, to me in my head, A, because I was a Girl Scout, um, I really I love just love that. Like, <laughs> Fun fact I, about but, Jordan. Wait, wait, wait. And I Maybe, was a wait, before, scout before you keep going, how many cookies did you sell? Like, were you like a, it a cookie? It on the year. Like, I was, like, when I was a brownie, like, because it's like Daisy, brownie, junior, uh, cadet, and then senior. I was a, I was this like, when it wasn't cute anymore, I was a Girl Scout. Like, <laughs> and it, that was more kind of like, it felt shadier when you were selling cookies. It felt more like, kind of like you were dealing substances. Where you're like, you want some of these lemon drops? Would you like some? <laughs> um, yeah, it was very, it was very, you know. Uh, but I always had fun. And I kind of feel like I always like outsourced it. I would like give a copy of the list to my dad and my sister to like, just take it to work and push the product, you know? <laughs> But I loved, I really loved like the camping and bringing people together. And so, yes, there's a little, there's a little bit of that quality when it comes to this summit. But I feel like I wanted us to find an opportunity to come together in such a year where it can be very isolating and lonely and just uh, really rough on um, your mental health and your emotions. I really wanted to have an opportunity where we could come together and have fun. I think so much of the conversation around inclusivity can, it always is like spurred by something really tragic happening. Um, and I really wanted there to be an opportunity where it doesn't have to be in that context. Right. We can learn to like uplift and celebrate and encourage one another and have fun and laugh and learn oh, and connect. We, laugh. we never laugh. And, Oh my goodness. The crew, <laughs> let, let me just tell you this, people, like the crew for the Ally to Advocate Summit, like yeah. anytime like, I do lives with them, and if you've been watching any of our lives before, like we had um, Black Gay Weddings, we had Allison from Davis Rowe, we had Carla, like I'm like this uh, at the end, like my cheeks yeah. hurt so bad from like yeah. laughing. Cause laughing. And then I'm like, my abs hurt the next day. I'm like, that was a great workout. I need to like, I need to schedule this every day. More of it. Get a little. But th that's the thing. It can be fun, you know? And, yeah. and I think sometimes it can, it can be overwhelming to people like, and, and they can kind of feel like on the defensive, like, yeah, no, I really am trying. And, and it, it's like, you know, so at that point, then when you're trying to learn something, it's almost it's so serious. Like, it's so like mm -hmm. heavy and it's like, Oh, I think I've screwed up already. And then, you know, yeah. it doesn't have to be like learning can be fun and we can it laugh can fun. and an ab workout and like, you can get an ab workout. It's a, it's a plank. It's a, <laughs> a face lift. 
It's, uh, you know, it could be a bunch of things. But I think, I think also, like, I mean, you were so pivotal, especially during June and July of highlighting so many Black vendors and, uh, and being a part of the unity through community. Like, the thing that really just fascinated me is how willing we were to have this conversation. Like, um, uh, Terika, uh, DC Wedding Week, they were like, uh, the, they just started the National Association for like Black event professionals. Like all of these initiatives that came out of that is really beautiful to see and really beautiful to see us come together. But the fact that we were already kind of like ready <laughs> yeah. um, just proves to me that like, hey, this is a conversation um, worth having. This is something worth diving into. And I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. Right. Um, and I definitely didn't want it to come off as like, uh, there's this thing, I don't know, of just making it seem so uh, inaccessible. Mm. And I don't want it to be inaccessible to people. Right. I want it to be something that is digestible, easy, tack for them to take, and not like a academic like a whole semester because there is that available to you right okay. you can always Tons. go and read and find those resources but for business owners specifically we're always looking for that practicality and so that has to be there but um you're gonna laugh like we have uh Daniela and Carla from Once Upon a Vow uh obviously you <laughs> we have Black Gay Wedding Michael and Lawrence uh Megan Hale um, Jen Shimako, Allison Davis. And I know I'm missing somebody. Oh, also, I have a friend who will likely be the president of the United States at some point. Um, she's wait, so wait, wait, brilliant. So, so we get to meet the, the next president? This is basically people, you can just get like kind of get your, Oh my goodness. I mean, just get your ticket now. Um, either the, the chief of staff or a future president or like legitimately the future president. I love it. Um, but Juani Torres, who is so brilliant at understanding organizing, but also understanding like policy and legislation, um, they'll have a session on a Monday to talk about that. And I'm so excited to get business owners connected to that. So there's just like a lot of awesome people that I, it's almost kind of like, you know, when you have one friend group and then you have another friend group and you just really want them to be <laughs> friends. It, it's kind of like that. I'm just like, I just want everybody to be friends. <laughs> I love it. And that's honestly like, th that's what it is. It's, yeah. it's, and there's nothing else like that. I, I think that's really important for people to understand. Like, it's not, it's not just a, like an educational summit. It's not just yeah. really heavy, lots of like, okay, no, like, like my, no, now first, like, can't take any more notes. It's like, yeah. it's engaging. And I think that's, that's one of the most powerful things about education is that when it engages you, right? Yeah. It's, it doesn't live in a notebook. It actually lives mm -hmm. in you. It's like, it's become yeah. part of who you are and how you operate going forward because you have this connection, this experience that changes you. And those are going to be the things that really make a difference, move the needle going forward. And, and that's what, that's what you should want. I mean, in, in terms of that ally to, again, ally to advocate, you know, going from just a black box to yeah. how am I going to implement this in my life? Okay. I'm going to read this book okay, now I'm not sure what to do next. Where's the check? Exactly. What the there yeah. are so many book lists. There are so many book lists and there's nothing wrong with that. I really think if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to understand a primary like experience, like you can go to those primary accounts and get that. Um, but I also know that like, sometimes you just need to contextualize things socially. Like you need to, to be able to interact with people in a way without harming them or making them relive any type of trauma. So yes, reading is great, but it's not like that you can have a multifaceted approach to oh. your, to your understanding. And I love what you just said about um, connecting things like outside of the notebook. Some of my favorite things that I remember are because there was like an emotional connection to it. So hopefully with this, people will be able to make those connections and remember like, oh, that's what that experience meant for a person. And I'm just excited to see how that comes together. Yes. No, I'm a million percent because that's exactly it. Like being able to have those experiences, again, it's, it's seared in your brain. And yeah. I think one of the most important things that, and one of the reasons that, you know, 
we were doing a lot of the, the IG lives is so that people get those conversations. They get to be a part of that because once yeah. you have that, you are changed, right? You, yeah. I mean, even though like it might, it might not be, you know, you sitting here talking to Jordan, right? You're part of this conversation that Jordan and I are having. Like we're welcoming you into this conversation so that you feel like you're a part of it and you know Jordan better. And if you have a question, you can reach out to Jordan and you can follow her on Instagram and see what she's posting or go to this summit or all of these things that you now don't feel like, oh, like it's like, it's a cold email I have to send. Or it's like, how do you read? Like, what if she isn't interested? What if she doesn't answer? What if I offend her? What if all of those things, right? It's like, we're opening the door. And I love that that's what the summit does is it opens that door for people because it's like, yeah. here's the door. And it's like, literally, it's like, it's like wide open. Like we just took out that whole front wall and it's like, the house is open people. Door. Come there's no like, doors. Y'all can come oh, in. Awesome. There's no door, right? <laughs> I because it. It there, is. I mean, really, because I, I just, I think it's, I, I have heard it a lot and I understand it and I agree with it. Like when people say, you know, I don't, I don't have to be your teacher when it comes to issues of like cultural culture or race or identity and whatever form that takes. And to a certain extent, yeah, like you can't, if you want to know more about like trans rights, you can't walk up to everybody who identifies as trans and be like, Hey, tell me your experience. Like, no, they don't owe that to you. Right. They don't owe that that need to relive trauma in order to kind of like give you a lesson. Nobody owes that to anyone, right? But I know myself, I know that I have the emotional bandwidth to be able to do that. And I know that um, I can, if I can lend that experience to help educate people, awesome. Cause that kind of takes the burden off of another person down the road to have to do that. So yeah, I love, I, that. I, I love it. Yeah, I it think is. it's gonna be awesome. It is about, understanding okay so this one and i think the most important thing is not assuming right yeah because at that point you're just tokenizing someone because of their their race or their skin color that they that that means that because you are that race you should be able to then serve this purpose for me yeah. that's it's, it's that's no different than like hey you know Asian person, black person, why don't you come be on my committee or be on my panel or do this? Because I don't have anyone who looks like you and I want to look like, oh. I, no, like that's not, oh. that's not it. You know, and the intersectionality of what you're doing, I think is yeah. really important for people to understand because that word gets thrown around a lot and I don't think people really dive deep into what that means. Yeah. And again, it goes back to that experience, that conversation that people are having in terms of like, yeah. I get to know you as a human being and you yeah. are all of these things. You represent part of that. Because that's how you get beyond the tokenism, right? Like it's because they, they're no longer just gay or trans or black or Asian or whatever. They are so like, they are so many things because they're that person. And then yeah. because they're that person and those things, you start to understand all those other aspects of life you don't experience. You understand that firsthand because you have this love and connection. And so I and love I that you're like, you're like literally putting it on a platter for people. Like you, like yeah. if you guys are watching this, you need to go get your ticket because she's literally putting it on a, on like a silver platter. And she's like, oh, no. and <laughs> she's like dancing around the kitchen with her silver platter. And she's like, I think you guys need to come. Here it is. Here it is. Well, the thing that's so cool, I think one is that of course, coming live to the sessions is going to be the best benefit to you. You get to hang out in the chat. That's always where a lot of the fun stuff happens, but also you get access to replays. Like if you can't watch because you're working a nine to five or you are helping your, your child with distance learning, like, <laughs> Oh, you don't have to watch it when we're on the, the replay will be there. And also for like these words like tokenism and intersectionality, if those are, are new to you, um, all attendees get our little social justice glossary. Um, Love so we'll it. be giving that out. That'll be going out on Friday along with the workbook, but it doesn't have to be a big scary thing. And I think um, a lot of times I was doing a live a couple of days ago and somebody was like, what does this have to do with wedding? <laughs> I was like, everything. <laughs> everything like what does it have to do with makeup what does it have to do with um culinary service and it's like if you think about it who we are is a story and that story impacts everything so if it's celebrations if it's 
computer science, if it's whatever, like learning how to understand and essentially all of these terms, diversity, inclusion, intersectionality, it just comes down to empathy. Learning to have empathy for other people, people that might work with you, people that might work for you, clients, family, friends, it's just I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't want to have that, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And and I think it speaks to the fact that it, that, that you really don't under, like there's a, there's a lack of self-awareness. That question comes from like, oh, well, that's just my wedding life or that's just my, you know, other business life or my nine to five life or no, no, because you're part of all that and you carry that with you to that next section of your life. That's your intersectionality. Right. Yeah. And so like to be able to understand somebody else's is only going to help you in all those different aspects of your own life to then mm-hmm. do your things better, whatever that is. If you're a photographer, yeah. if you're a caterer, if you're, it doesn't matter, call it whatever you want it to. But if you don't understand people and how to communicate and how to do your job better in working with other human beings, it's going to be really hard. So I <laughs> it's going to be impossible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get why people don't get that. Like, if you're a makeup artist, and you understand different skin tones and undertones and how um, face shapes and and body sizes and all this other stuff and how that affects like lighting and how people show up in different media, like, that's only an asset, right? That's only going to make you even more um, booked, even more busy, that's more sought after, like, it's not a hindrance and it's not a weakness to be able to like have that. It's an asset. If you are a wedding planner or an event planner and you understand like um, a queer couple, if they're same sex, they probably don't want to be uh, talked to as the bride and groom, like <laughs> just say partner um, that will have a ripple effect of like, oh my gosh, these people really care about me. It's little things like that, those little considerations that really make things um, better. So I, you know, if, if you're a little um, overwhelmed by the terms or just kind of don't know where to start, I would just encourage you to remember like, this is only going to help you. This is not going to hurt you. And I think a lot of people when it comes to changes like this that they may not be you know comfortable with or sure of they kind of our brain always thinks of change as like a bad thing like oh god no it's taking something away when it's really just adding value so don't look at it as a bad thing look at it as a good thing I and that you hit the nail on the head because when it comes to learning something new that's not yeah. saying like oh you're a bad human and how dare you do this thing wrong for so many years that's not what it's saying it's saying you're great let's make you greater let's do it better let's make yeah. your life easier i don't know but yeah. if you really don't want your life to be better or easier that's a whole nother conversation and no you should probably not come because you're just going to be miserable yeah. anyways <laughs> but because you're going to be mad <laughs> you know like at that point but if you, if you do, if you want your life to be better, like, again, understanding that no one's, and I think that's what, you know, the, the approach that you're taking to this is so, like, so refreshing, because it's, it really comes from a place of love, hence love all the days, like, we're, mm-hmm. you know, celebrating love, but it's, it's really a place of, like, let me help you, and, and I think yeah. a lot of people feel in that kind of education that, they're, they're being judged, they're being, you know, they're being condemned there. And, and that then sparks in them, you know, these walls of maybe I shouldn't learn, maybe I don't want, maybe, okay. No, it's like, again, the entire front of the house is open and y'all can just come on in. Like, we just, yeah, it's, it's, again, I know that not everybody wants to be in that position to have open arms and they have every reason not to be right but if i again have the emotional bandwidth to do this i'm gonna do it um and i really want people to be encouraged like in the same way you would approach any other like uh business development topic this is another version of that Um, It's business development, especially in the 21st century. I know a lot of people are like, oh gosh, those millennials, 
you're always ranting about something. If you think we are very passionate human beings, these Gen Z babies <laughs> are very passionate <laughs> human beings. They care. They care. And they care so much that it's not even like, it's not even like a, a thing that they think about. Like inclusion is the default for so many of them. So this is something, if you're in business, it's literally not even like, I'm not joking. Like, this is something that you have to consider. This is something that you should already kind of be doing, but <laughs> I'm not here to, <laughs> to make you feel bad. Um, this is the time to do it. Like, get it in, get it in writing, get it together, um, get it in development for your business so that you can grow as time goes on. And we start to have less millennial couples getting married and more Gen Z couples and the generation after that. Um, I think it's really important to just kind of frame it in that way instead of seeing how sometimes people do perceive it as like a, a personal attack or, you know, they get in their feelings, quote, so to speak. You don't have to look at it that way. Just right. look at it as business development because that's really what it is. Exactly. And, and honestly, if you want your business in the wedding industry uh, or any industry that services humans in general, so unless you're like, only in and even then if you're only servicing yeah. like a geriatric population at some point that geriatric population is going to be millennial and at some point yeah. it's going to be gen z so if you don't understand how it is that you need to connect market you know speak to empathize with you don't you don't know what their pain points are you don't know how to meet their needs they're not going yeah. to to you know frequent your business they're going to choose someone else who is because let me tell you there's tons of options out there. You are not the only planner. You are not the only, you know, it's like, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's so fascinating that like, sometimes people think of it that way. Well, this is the way we've always done it. So that's the, I'm like, who has that ever served? Especially in business. The market is always changing. You are all, therefore you should be changing along with it. Exactly. And so if you look at it as a tool, and not a weapon, but a tool for personal and business development, you're, you're gravy. It's, you're going to have a lot of fun. And I think the more we can frame it in that way, the more people will be able to really receive it. Um, because like you said, yeah, like the generations change, the clients change, like how can you better grow that empathy organically and sustainably in your business so that you're able to hear them? Um, I always think about like... <laughs> There's a small business development center. I think they're pretty much in every city. But it was like when I first started, I went to their like start smart little session. It was like a 101 boot camp. And I remember um, the facilitator saying something along the lines of like, if you, the entrepreneurs are usually the biggest impasse because they have, they create something from a pain point either for, for themselves, usually mainly for women of color. It's usually like our own pain point where we're like, I don't want anybody else going through this. I'm going to create my own thing um, or recognizing another community's pain point. If you can recognize that, that's empathy, right? That you're putting empathy into practice. And so most entrepreneurs are coming from a place of empathy. So I think you should, you should honor that and take it a step further. I love it. And uh, you're totally right. I, I think if you forget or you don't recognize it in yourself that you act like you're, you're shortchanging yourself. Because yeah. you probably had that or have that e empathy kind of part of you that needs to be growing, released, you know, reminded that yeah. this is why you started, why you're doing it, right? It's not just a job. And if it is, then you should yeah. probably like go find it. Maybe oh. it's not right for you. You should probably, I mean, I, I get it. I think it's, it's one of the harder things to do is to be in business. But I mean, I understand how people get jaded and how that empathy can kind of just fade away over time if you let it. But I think, um, especially with like the holidays coming up, I think it's a really good reminder to like, let's get re-engaged in that. And what does it look like to really have empathy for people, particularly people, um, that maybe you don't engage with at a, at a frequent level. Right. Uh, it's so easy to say like, oh, well, those people over there or to generalize or whatever. Um, so that when we do have these conversations about inclusion, you know, people are just like, well, it doesn't affect me. It does. 
<laughs> it will. <laughs> I know that much. It will. Yeah. So you might as well just like jump in now um, and not let it. I mean, see, like in sw I took swim class like earlier this year, <laughs> right before all the shutdown stuff happened, thankfully. And we had one um, lesson where our teacher was like, sit on the edge of the deep end. That's like my number one scare is like, ah, I can't control things in the deep end of the water. And she's like, and then just fall in. I'll catch you. Just fall in. And I was like, hmm? She was like, just fall in the water. And I was like, huh? She was like, just, just Jordan, just like fall, like fall towards me. Like I got you. And I was like, you're like, no. oh, uh, mm. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't, no, I didn't. Cause I'm, I'm a planner. I like want I want to have like three different plans before I do anything. And so I had to like confront my need for control. And I get that. I get why some people are like, well, I don't, here's change. I don't want to change because I just got a hold of this one thing. And this is going to like bring uncertainty to my door well welcome to 2020 oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean like we've all had to pivot and adjust and i think like one of the beautiful lessons i've figured out for myself is just because you can see it as uncertainty or you can see it as possibility I love right that. And so, uh, so like, yeah. wait, wait, wait. you gotta say that again for people because you know they they, they just they need to hear it one more time you can see things, especially this year, as uncertainty, or you can see it as possibility. I love it. And possibility, like, that gets you curious. And I really feel like curious, curiosity is, like, the lowest form, the most accessible form of optimism. It's like, I can't, True. you know, like, hope is, hope is hard, <laughs> especially this year. Hope is hard. But let's just start at the curious least, stage. Yeah, right. It's just like some of us like the the easiest thing to get to is at least being like curious, right? It's just like, what if? What would happen if I tried this? Or what would happen if I entertain this idea, right? I think it's really important for people to remind themselves of that. Like you don't have to when it comes to change, you don't have to break yourself off to it because it makes you feel like you're out of control. It's not uncertainty, it's possibility. Like what collaborations are you missing out on because you know you don't market your business as inclusive what relationships are you missing out on um what great client experiences are you missing out on um because the second i was like out and proudly saying like hey lgbtqia couples here in south texas i got you things absolutely exploded <laughs> Like people were like, huh? Yeah. Like, just like, you know, um, and it wasn't like I wasn't serving those couples beforehand, but they hadn't seen planners, particularly in my area, so proud to do it. And so if that's the case here in South Texas, I'm sure that's the case maybe in central Iowa or Northwest Nebraska. I'm just picking up random locations now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> South by Southwest, whatever. Um, I, <laughs> I just not think it's affiliated important with, to frame it. yeah, not affiliated with. Uh, I think it's important to frame it that way of just like, hey, like it can be fun, it can be a, a different and new possibility. Um, if anything we've learned this year is like you have to be open to it and not you know, feel like you have to shield yourself from uncertainty, just go with it, just jump in. Um, Cause you never know what's, what's on the other side of that. I love that. Now you have to tell the backstory. What made you want to take swimming lessons? Okay. So I have had that on, I, I'm like a vision boarder. So I like had that on my vision board for two or three years like I'm gonna get back in the water because I loved it growing up and then I think it got like really body conscious and I was like well I'm just not gonna do it which is so dumb nobody cares and nobody's looking at you <laughs> get over yourself nobody cares everybody else is too consumed with their own insecurities to care about yours like truly like yeah, yeah so we've yeah. all had those moments where we're like oh my god everybody's looking at me nobody's looking at you <laughs> don't even have to worry like it's you don't even worry about it um so I had it on my vision board for like a couple years and then 
I really like woke up the day before or maybe two days before the classes started and I was like I'm just gonna do it okay let's let's just I'm just gonna do it <laughs> and so it was so fun I had the the funniest ladies in my class um so much so that when we learned how to do like the survival float um, because it was like on your back and you, the water's like right here. If you're floating properly, I was just like freaking out. Like, I was just like, I can't, I can't, oh, I can't do it. And finally after class, I was like, okay, she just said, relax, just relax. And I did it. And it was the most calming feeling in the whole world. And all of a sudden I just hear all this water like coming and I'm seeing it. I'm like, what's going on? So I stand up and one of the ladies in the class, one of the ladies in the class, I had those little chicken cutlet cups <laughs> in my feet. She said, I was at the deep end and all I saw were those little chicken cutlets and I thought something bad happened to you. And she was swimming. <laughs> she was swimming to come get me. It was the cutest thing. I was just like, oh, Miss Janie, you were so sweet. That is the cutest. She really thought something had happened to me. But yeah, fun class. Okay, okay, that's beyond, beyond so awesome. Funny. It was so funny, because I was just like, what? And she, she was like, I thought something happened. She was like, I'm on the shallow side of the pool. Oh, it was so funny. Okay. But I feel like it almost, like, made me ready for this year, because, like, you can only control your body in the water. You cannot control anything else. And that's kind of the lesson of this year. There have, there's been a lot of grief and a lot of pain, but ultimately, like, I think we learned how much we don't control. Um, right. <laughs> just, you just kind of have to go with it, you know? You are, and that's exactly, that's exactly it. You can only control your body in the water. You can't control the water. You have mm -hmm. no control over the water. You yeah. Know? And the only thing you can do is decide if you are going to swim, right? Float, or if you're just going to let yourself be submerged and drown. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, a, that's a choice that you actually get to make and no one's making yeah. that except you. So yeah. I think that's, I mean, that's, I think one of the most important lessons that any, and we can all, anyone can really learn from 2020 is really, you know, what are we doing for us, yeah. for ourselves? And how are we going to make that better for our businesses, yeah. for our families, for our friends, you know, for our loved ones and for people who we maybe don't know well, but we have empathy for. And that's really like the Ally to Advocate Summit does that in such a really genuine, authentic, encouraging, loving way. I, and it, it makes me, it makes me so happy because it's like, those are the things that, that people are going to come away with. And even if they can't be there, the fact that they can rewatch it later, like the, it, yeah. it, it's on demand for you. Like that's, you know, one, it's on demand and it's not stuffy, boring, like education. It's fun. It's fun. It's, it's going to be fun. It's Jordan. It's going to be like, I, Jordan is like, it's going to be, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the little surprises that we have built in. I'm so excited to see y'all shine. I know I've said that multiple times, but honestly, um, I wanted to have kind of like the Shonda Rhimes effect where it's just normal to see people of color and people of different identities together in a room, room um, talking and engaging and learning and teaching and I'm really excited to, for the people who are going to be there live. I'm excited for the people who are going to be watching the replays. If you think like, oh, it's, it's not going to apply to my business, it absolutely will. Like you're going to come away with tangible strategies to make your business better. Like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's just yeah. it's scheduled in a way so that you actually get a break. I've been to enough summits where it's like all day and it's just like, but I have to pee. Like I don't, don't want to step away from the computer. Um, so there's a break in the, in the middle of the day for the people who get the deluxe ticket. There's like a networking session, two networking sessions. And then um, on the, at the end of Monday, we are having this big media accountability panel. So Zola is going to be there. Um, we're going to have the not worldwide joy, and Martha Stewart Weddings is going to send something over too. They won't be able to be there in person, but like, this is massive. And I just really hope that 
you feel the call to come along and join us, uh, Megan is going to kill it. I can't wait to get you on this panel because it's going to be fun. We're talking about community building, which to me, that's business, right? Like build a community around your brand, not just of, um, of other business owners, but people who are coming to you with their dollars. Like you need to, to nourish those relationships. So anyways, I'm really excited. I think Sunday I was just like <gasps> a little nervous. I was like, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> and then I was just like, this whole week has just been day after day confirmation of why. I get to see friends win and, and tell their story and teach and facilitate. I get to see and make new friends with people who want to learn and in a really dark year, I get to facilitate some light, like checks all the boxes for me. I, I love it. And like, th this is the thing people like, if you don't know Jordan, if you haven't, if you're like just tuned in, whatever, you know, first you're going to need to like watch the end and then go back after I post this and you're going to have to watch from the beginning. And then you're going to have to go back and watch the other IG live that I did mm -hmm. with Jordan before. So much fun. So you're just, you're going to have to go do all of those things because Jordan's fun. People, let me tell you, Jordan does not bring the boring, the crazy, the mm -hmm. like, mm -mm. she, she also doesn't bring the, is she going to do a break because I need to pee? You don't have I'm to wear the pens to attend the summit. <laughs> just, that should be our tagline. You don't have to wear the pens. You don't, or you can send out like, you know, gift boxes in advance, and you can put depends in there for people because you yeah, know, that's that's, that's what you should do. Summits who don't have okay, everyone here. So I know that Jordan did an entire video calling out like, <laughs> so I'm calling right now. I'm calling out anyone who does a summit and doesn't have a break. You need to be sending depends to every single person who buys a ticket. <laughs> put that in your ticket price. Send them some depends because how do you expect them to sit there the whole time? Uh... And not be? Oh my God. I'm not going to do that. Depends. I'm not going to do that to y'all. You will have a break. You will be able to get up and move around. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. I can't believe you. Well, and, you know, cause that's the, you know, who, who wants to sleep? Well, I certainly would need to be wearing depends if I was. Yeah. Like I back to back, I'd be like, I am not leaving my desk. Yeah. Like it's, it's too much. I really, I really like wanted to schedule it in such a way that like, if you do the first day and for whatever reason you can't make it to the second day, you have those available to watch. If you can't watch both days, you have those available to watch. And if you're there live with us, like I want you to have a break so you don't have to depend on us for you not to wear to pen. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's perfect. Uh, well, the link for tickets, it's in our bio. It's in Jordan's bio. If you haven't already, make sure you get your ticket. Yeah. Um, if you haven't followed Jordan before, you, you're missing out. You got to follow this girl. Um, so it's at love all the days. And mm -hmm. you, one, follow her. Two, make sure that you've seen the previous IG live we did with her. So go back on so our fun. IG lives and then make sure that, I mean, Jordan's been doing lives this whole time, you know, with all of the yeah. different speakers. It's been amazing. And again, it's, it's it really gets you pumped up and primed. Like you get to know these people mm -hmm. before you're going to learn all of these extra things. And then it becomes a hang. It becomes fun. And all of these things that you're going to learn and be able to apply to your business, it, it's going to be like nothing. And, and that's, yeah. that's what it should be. Learning should be yeah. fun and easy. Thank you for making it fun and easy. Well, come on down to the Ally to Advocate Summit slash Girl Scout camp. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, so I promise you'll earn a badge in inclusivity or something. I don't know. But we'll have a lot of fun. Um, there are still tickets available. They close Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Central. So make sure that you get your ticket before then. And yeah, you'll get to see Megan and all her glory on the community building um, on panel on Tuesday and a bunch of other people who are just ready, willing and able to teach and for y'all to learn. So I would love if you could make it. We're gonna have fun, I promise you. I love it. Jordan, thank you so much for coming on tonight and doing this. I always love hanging out with you, of course. 
it's but, fun. That's the only thing I really wish I was like, let's all go to dinner on Tuesday night. And I'm like, oh, wait, we're all in <laughs> different states. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe not next year. It'll be different yeah. next year. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Let me just tell you this. Uh, first of all, when things go back to normal and we can, like, travel and see people and go out to eat – Oh my goodness, I'm gonna gain like five million pounds because I'm gonna be oh my God, I'm and just like so much food. to eat with like all I mean I'm just gonna be so like food. that's it. I'm gonna have to walk to each one. Like it's like I will see you in two I'm hours. Walking I'm to Texas. walking. We're Jordan, I'll be all right the there. Hold on. You know, like I'm I'm gonna walk to California, I'll see y'all there because it's just that will be just like I know. I'm gonna be socializing on another level. I can feel it in my bones. Like I'm just gonna be doing too much. We're just like, do I need to work? No, I need to see people for the next nine months and then like I'll be fine. Well, and yeah, when you're with Jordan, it's an ab workout. So that counts for something. Yeah, yeah. I'm basically the human plank. If you don't want to plank, but you want to laugh and still engage that core, come on down. Come on. It's down. free. <laughs> come on down. All right. Well, that's definitely going in the caption. Jordan, For the sure. human plank. Plank. <laughs> Just say it. Listen. Just say it. Just say it. Anyone who has, like, brand any of our lives, there's, like, 50 inside jokes. They'll be like, I have no idea what your caption means, so I'm going to have to watch the entire video to understand. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it is. It's Jordan the Human Plank, who... Yeah. Jordan Human Plank. Let's trademark it. I love it. <laughs> you don't need Beachbody. You need Jordan. You need Jordan. Jordan. I'll just be doing a whole set for 30 minutes, and y'all just sit down in the chair, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm done. Done and done. That's the next summit. It's a fitness oh, summit. That's the next summit. Jordan is doing the, Jordan the human plank. She's basically doing Jordan stand up. Plank and, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Sign me up. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, you are so great. Thank you Aww. for hosting and having me on here. And just you've been so gracious. You've always been gracious, but you've been so gracious these past few months and sharing your platform and your audience with people and just really like getting the mission of, you know, getting us to engage and include one another in a huge way. And I just can't thank you enough. Like I always have fun. I always have a blast to put people at ease. Like the first live we did, it was like, we have already been friends for like years. Yeah. Cause you made it so, you just made it so easy. Aww. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh my pleasure completely. I just, I love that you came on. And I mean, most of the time, like I've, I've never, you know, there are exceptions, but in general, like I like people that I like to laugh. And I think that we can all find commonality and that's what this is about, right? Like there's something in just about everyone that you can connect with. And if you aren't sure of how to do that, then you come to our lives, you hang out with us, you get to meet Jordan, and you get to see how she's the human plank, and mm -hmm. you can <laughs> without her. I really have to get that on a t-shirt. Oh my God. Why plank? Why plank for 60 seconds when I can engage your core in the same amount of time Done! while you sit down? Like, it just makes more sense. Okay, so, so Allison and I, this is like the last thing I promise. See, Jordan and I could talk forever. Allison and I yeah. were like, merch. It's all about the merch. She kept saying like all of these awesome, so I, this is the thing. There's gonna have to be some merch store. We're gonna, have, to we're gonna have Jordan things. We're gonna mm -hmm. have Allison thing. Like, w there's mm -hmm. gonna be some serious, uh, swag. That you should really have like a merch store, like for every live where there's like that one quotable and like put it on a t shirt or get it in a tote bag or something. Cause I feel like you all, even when you had a Black Gay Weddings on, there were so many like little nuggets in there too that were hilarious. I mean, it, it's just, I mean, it might be something you just want to look into because okay, you bring right. out these, you bring out these quotables. There's <laughs> I love, you. It. I love it. All right. So that's that because you know that I I always joke I'm like, ooh, I have a new idea. And then I'm like, okay, it's probably mm -hmm. not like I shouldn't do that because I already have a few other things that I should probably get done first. But that's no, every, that's merch. every entrepreneur. Merch. That's every entrepreneur. We have like 50 million ideas. We're like, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> we do that every day. You're fine. <laughs> I love it. And I really think March would be great. Okay. Merch is, merch is next up, people. We're going to do some merch. And, and, and like, every, that seriously, like, that's, like, the best idea. We have merch from every IG Live. 
That's a lot of merch and a lot of good stuff. It's a lot of merch. And and like well, we're have to happy. put people's faces. Like we're gonna need to find someone to like draw faces. So it's like Jordan's face in the background, and then it's like like literally just the a human ooh, plank. The human plank. <laughs> I love it. Okay, love it. now we're gonna be bajillionaires because we have Jordan merch and Allison merch, <laughs> and I, I like I have no. Right, I'm yeah. sorry, people. We're just yeah. gonna shut down all, into all their operations. Total just merch. I love it's it. All merch. So, uh, mer uh, master class merch. Master class merch. That's what it's about. I'm gonna have to, so okay. I, I'm gonna have to get. Gave you an assignment. <laughs> Good stuff. Let me tell you. I think uh, Desiree was on from Dejan Events, and like she was it. We were like I don't even know what we were talking about, and something somehow it came up like that she was like getting married. She's not, she's not getting married, but we're like, yeah. And then she's like on Twitter and she's like, people are going to start asking me about like, when's the wedding. And then like this whole other thing came out. And so the next time she came out, we were talking about that again. And it was just this whole thing. Like, again, we're going to have to have merch. So mm -hmm. for every, oh geez, for every single one. Make it happen. All right. All right. Something to do. Cause you know, nothing else to do. <laughs> Nothing else to do. I'm gonna make some merch for y'all. Get ready. Get your pockets ready. Might not be ready for Christmas, but it's definitely gonna be ready for all of your 2021 shopping, yeah. excursions, traveling. In 2020, every day is Christmas. Every time I jump online, I'm like, let me order something that I'm not gonna wear for you know ever. <laughs> yeah, let me order that. I I did that the other day. I was like, uh, I should get this because it's on a, it's a good it's a good deal. And I was like. I'm not going I'm not to be worried. speaking at an event anytime soon. No, yeah, no. Like, only people just see me from here at like. Exactly. Exactly. I've been wearing this sweater like every, <laughs> like I wash it, but I wear it like, I feel like in all my lives, we'll probably see this pink sweater because it's so comfortable and I love it. But that's just the times that we're living in. Just roll with it. Okay. All right. Well, stay oh. tuned, people, for the merch. And when the merch comes yeah. out, one of the first things will be. Um, so I think we a T-shirt, and you need to. And then we can do like a D, like a. Well, I was gonna say VHS tape, but they so DVD. We can do like a DVD. Or now it's like what just streamed. I don't know what people do anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but it's instead of like buns of steel, because that totally dates me. But um, just saying, it's like so instead of bun like abs of steel, buns of steel, we have a Jordan. The human plank. So again, mm -hmm. there's so much merch right now. My head's spinning. So much. I love it. I love it. Awesome. You crack me up. You kill me. Uh, so thank you. I adore you. Everyone, people definitely go to the, go to either our bio or go to Jordan's bio and grab a ticket only through Sunday. At, and that's mm -hmm. like, basically, I'm going to tell you people 11, it's 11.59. I'm going to tell you 11, just so you know, it's before midnight. And it's central yeah. time. Um, mm -hmm. So make sure that you guys do that because you don't want to miss it. Even if you can't attend live, you want to watch the replays because you need a six pack. Be awesome. You need a six pack. It's going to be fun. You're going to get lots of goodies. You're going to enjoy yourself. And we want to see you there. So thank you again for having me. I so appreciate it. And thank you for everybody watching. Follow us at Love All The Days. I can't wait to see. Yay! Me too, me too. All right. Well, have a great night. Everyone, thanks for watching. And uh, and we'll see you on... I'm going to be on on Tuesday, but you guys should be there uh, Monday, signed up mm -hmm. and enjoying all of the amazing community for Ally to Advocate. Yay! Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for joining. We'll see you soon. Bye.